So here we are guys with the new Ford Fusion Energy. It's a very good vehicle here. So I'm here at the car detail area actually uh, just, you know, cleaning it. Well, why not? <laughs> Might as well. So uh, I did the other side there. And uh, now I'm uh, doing the passenger side. So as you can see here, it's uh, very roomy and spacious, very easy to clean actually. The crevices aren't too uh, crevicey as you might uh, think. Uh, so here we are, we have a nice little space over here they got. It's nice with a little light there as you can see. Oh, great. Ooh, close one. Um, so, USB, even the uh, little other port there, some nice little holder. This is uh, okay, there. So as you can see, the car is very well made. Another little auxiliary uh, energy area port. and the uh, AC coming right out the seat. Great. And uh, it's a uh, very, very clean car. And it also has a plug here. Again, another plug. Very, very good car. I, I, I suggest it. Very nice roomy back over here. This goes back to reveal the battery area. Uh, as you can see, there's not too much space in the trunk because there's a huge battery back here, which is uh, fine, considering the fact that uh, the battery could take you 20 miles besides uh, the gas. Um, there is room in the trunk, though. Pure electric vehicles are becoming more and more popular in the United States for a number of reasons. Uh, as you as you are well aware of, uh, there's an actual uh, battery in here that uh, enables this car to actually travel uh, at least uh, 15 to 20 miles just on the uh, battery alone. Uh, pure hybrid uh, vehicles, or as we call them, PHEVs, are powered by an internal combustion engine. And a high voltage electric battery. So, this is not your uh, actual high voltage, uh, very uh, intricate battery here as we get the uh, actual hood open. Uh, this is a little thing right here, you just clip uh, and you split this up. So you can see this little yellow thing you clip right here, you pull that up, reveal the engine, the force fusion energy. You know, and this can be charged from an electric outlet using this little plug here. As you can see, just pull it out. Now, there's no outlets where I'm at now, which, uh, you know, is one of the things as a pure electric vehicle owner, you're gonna have to definitely be weary of your surroundings and where it is, there's a battery. 
So PHEVs are similar to each HEVs, which are just hybrid electric vehicles, like the Ford Fusion Hybrid, in that they are equipped with both an electric battery and a gas-powered engine. Unlike HEVs, however, PHEVs are equipped with a high-capacity battery that can be charged from a private household or public electric outlet. So, you know, these are some key things you need to know about your pure electric vehicles. Um, so, while regular HEVs maintain a roughly constant battery charge, PHE PHEVs discharge the battery while driving to provide additional fuel savings. PHEVs can be significantly less expensive for consumers to operate than gasoline powered vehicles, particularly for consumers who frequently take short trips, allowing them to travel on electricity stored in the battery instead of a more costly gasoline. So, Wow. So this car has the Sony, uh, you know, this Fusion has a Sony system here. Uh, no, it's all fresh and clean. Uh, so, you know, while, reg uh, you know, like I was saying, these can be significantly less expensive for consumers to uh, operate than gasoline powered vehicles, particularly for consumers who frequently take short trips, allowing them to travel on electricity stored in a battery instead of more costly gasoline. PHEVs have the potential to re reduce tailpipe emissions to near zero when running on battery power. The vehicles. Overall life cycle emissions depend on electrical power and source and usage characteristics of the vehicle. So this is a walking battery source, you know, as mentioned. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of space for a plug-in hybrid here. really helping the environment by using this kind of vehicle. So uh, if you want to be more green, you know, get a plug-in hybrid rather than just a normal hybrid. And Ford has definitely stepped up their game. As you can see, there's a real engine in here. <laughs> you know, uses real oil and everything. Now I've been using a uh, 93 Octane, but uh, you can use whatever you want. Um, and, uh, so, you know, PHEVs have the potential to reduce tailpipe emissions to near zero when running on battery power. The vehicle's overall flight cycle depends on electrical power source and the usage characteristics of the vehicle. So the, ve so the high voltage battery is charged through a regenerative braking and discharge during acceleration to improve the overall fuel economy of the vehicle, similar to today's conventional hybrids. So when the battery is depleted, the vehicle will continue to operate on a gas-powered engine, providing significant benefits over battery electric vehicles in terms of driving range before refueling. So, you know, there's several benefits to this, like reduce dependence on petroleum fuels, you know, reduce environmental impact reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, as well as smog forming tailpipe emissions. Like, you know, you hardly use these tailpipes. Like, look at that, it's like fresh. So, um, so, you know, there's a potential consumer savings on energy and fuel costs by a lot. So let's step this bad boy up.
So, you know, this is how we do omnipresence media. You know, we don't hold no bars. Let's see how uh, things plug in right into here. Let's see, well, get your hybrid on the charge. So, that's how you keep your. See that? And it lets you know. I'm gonna put this bad boy back in here and, uh, you know, I'll create some more videos and some more uh, details, show you more. Alright? Check me out soon. Peace, guys. Follow at V I C K E N S M O S C O V E. Uh, hashtag I love EVs. Hashtag driving on energy. Alright? Check us out, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, shout out to Ford. Uh, check out my Block Talk Radio show, blocktalkradio.com slash omnipresence media. And uh, as you can see, just. This bad boy right in here. So thanks again guys. Appreciate it and uh some new Ford Fusion Titanium.